Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Let's walk you through how to safely handle compressed gas cylinders. A compressed gas cylinder contains a large volume of gas. Gas particles in this large volume are put under high pressure and compressed to fit into the volume of the cylinder, creating a compressed gas cylinder. Each gas cylinder comes with a cylinder label. Each cylinder must be clearly labeled to show the testing date, distributor name, gas type, and any potential hazards. All fuel gases represent a flammable hazard, but acetylene is the most unstable of the fuel gases and therefore requires specific safety considerations. Let's look at how an acetylene cylinder is constructed. First of all, the cylinder itself is filled with a porous, absorbent material, which is then saturated with liquid acetone. These components help keep the gas stable under pressure in the cylinder. The acetylene gas is then added to the cylinder and absorbed by the liquid acetone. As it gets used, the acetylene gas is released from the liquid acetone. Because of this construction, it is important to never operate an acetylene cylinder at above 15 psi. If acetylene is used at pressures greater than 15 psi, the bonds of the acetylene molecules may break and the hydrogen and carbon molecules split. The gas is unstable in the cylinder and results in what is known as a dissociative explosion. Because of this construction, it is important to keep the acetylene cylinder in an upright position. If the acetylene cylinder is laid on its side, the acetone liquid can fill the valve area and then may be released into the regulator when it's used and damage the equipment. Acetone in the regulator will starve the flame, which in turn may cause the tip to overheat. If that happens, the result could be what's called a sustained backfire. A backfire can be a very dangerous situation. Contact your gas supplier if you are unable to transport the gas cylinder in an upright position. Next, we will walk through the oxygen safety checklist. By itself, we know that oxygen is not flammable. It is, however, an oxidizer with pressures that can exceed 2200 psi in a fully charged cylinder. It's important to remember to never completely empty the entire contents of the cylinder. Instead, be sure to leave a minimum of 20 psi in the cylinder. This will help prevent the possible reverse flow of the fuel gas into that cylinder and be sure that no oils, grease, or lubricants are allowed to come in contact with the oxygen cylinder or valve. Before attaching the regulator, slightly open the oxygen cylinder valve to clear out any debris. Wipe out the connection with a clean, oil-free cloth. There are many safety precautions that you should keep in mind whenever you use gas cylinders and operate oxy-fuel equipment. During operation, always be sure to keep sparks from coming in contact with the fuel gas cylinder. Never strike an arc on any cylinder with any arc welding device. This can cause a weak spot in the cylinder or cause nearby flammable gases to explode. Always check for leaks before operating oxyfuel equipment. If a leak is present somewhere in the system, stop use immediately to avoid causing a fire. A leak checking fluid can be used to ensure a leak is not present in the system. After using compressed gas cylinders, ensure you are storing and transporting gas cylinders safely. Cylinders should always be capped when not in use to protect the cylinder's valve. Cylinders should always be secured. If a highly pressurized cylinder were to fall without the valve protected, the valve itself could break off. And with the high pressure being expelled from the cylinder valve, it could be propelled like a powerful torpedo in any direction, creating a very dangerous situation. Cylinders must always be stored in the vertical position, with the valve end up, especially acetylene cylinders. High purity oxygen by itself doesn't burn, but it accelerates reaching kindling temperature when coming in contact with fuel. High purity oxygen will not only support, but also amplify combustion. Therefore, when gas cylinders are not in use, be sure to store flammable cylinders at least 20 feet away from oxygen cylinders, or even better, separate them by a properly designed firewall. Never transport gas cylinders in an enclosed vehicle. If a leak were to develop, there may not be adequate ventilation, and the leaking flammable gases create an explosive atmosphere.
Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in our How To Video series to learn how to safely and effectively operate OxyFuel equipment.